Good morning, Cardoonity. We're back again, finishing up the 83 top set. We're on day number four here. Uh, we talked about the Super Vet card of Dave LaRoche. Steve Henderson. We've got Steve Henderson mixed up with Dave Henderson. Never with Ricky, but with Dave Henderson sometime. But Steve Henderson uh, didn't last as long as Dave or Ricky. Renee Lochman, manager of the Mariners. He, he managed a couple different teams, Renee Lochman. I don't even... I imagine he must have played... Uh, someday, yeah, it looks like he was he was on the A's a couple of years, uh, but uh, I just that was like, like the name Renee Lotchman. I think he's a Frenchman. I don't mean I mean a Canadian. I don't know. Doesn't say. He was born in California, but he just had that Frenchman's kind of a name, I guess. Tito Land, remember Tito? Uh, long time speedster, uh, bounced around a couple of different teams. Bob Ochinko, I always love that name, Ochinko. Uh, long-time pitcher. Terry Harper, don't know much about Terry Harper. Larry Gura, long-time quality pitcher for the Royals. He had some good years. Not Hall of Fame worthy, obviously, but he had some good years. Doug DeCincy, a uh, long-time utility third baseman, sometimes starter for a couple different teams. Alti Hamaker, long-time pitcher for a couple different teams. Bob Baylor, don't know much about Bob Baylor. Roger LaFrancois, no idea. <laughs> Jim Clancy, don't know too much about Jim. Uh, Joe Pittman, not so much about Joe Pittman. Sammy Stewart, Sammy Stewart. Sammy Stewart always looked like he had the biggest head to me. I don't know why. Uh, big mustache, always a smile on his face when you had his pic picture. But Alan Bannister was around for a long time. I don't know why. <laughs> Nothing. He never seemed to be <clears throat> a leader in anything. But he was there forever. <clears throat> he had a um, checklist card, your Robin Yount card that year. Cincinnati Reds had Cesar Cedeno and Mario Soto as their leaders. Mike Sosha, I don't think he's managing the or the Angels anymore, but he was an awesome manager. And uh, catchers make, for some reason, a lot of catchers make great managers. And Mike Sosha was no uh, exception to that thing. Steve Comer. Randy Johnson. No, not that Randy Johnson. <laughs> it's one of those uh, things I like to see where you get the same name but different guy kind of things. Jim Bibby. Uh, he had some great years as a pitcher for the Pirates. Gary Woods. Don't know much about Gary. Lynn Matusik. Brief Philly. Uh, Jerry Garvin. Don't know much about Jerry Garvin or Dave Collins. Here's your Nolan Ryan card. Nolan obviously gets a super vet. Bill Allman. Don't know much about Bill Allman or John Stuper. Brett Butler, that's an early Brett Butler card, though I thought Brett's first cards were with him, him with the Indians. Brett Butler, if you remember Brett, um, no, Braves were it. I thought for some reason I remember the Indians, but mostly it was the Dodgers and Giants. You remember Brett Butler? Brett Butler could lay down a bunt like nobody's business, and he had he had that fear about him. I mean, people played him so shallow, and he you wished he could have done better, but he, he did have a, a, a long and lengthy career. Davey Lopes, who was with the Dodgers for so long, but then jumped to the A's. Uh, eventually, he, he went to a couple more teams and hung on a while. What we remember him here in Philly is he was the first base coach for all of our great teams with Jimmy Rollins and Ryan Howard and Chase Utley. Davey Lopes was the first base coach. He was fantastic. And I remember as they started getting worse and worse, and eventually um, the players started, you know, underperforming. They got rid of Davy Lopes for nothing. I mean, he made that team so much better by his coaching at first base, and they wouldn't give him, like, half a million a year or something like that. It was some ridiculously low number as a coach, and they wouldn't give it to him, so he bolted. I'm not sure where he is now. I'm sure he's somewhere in the game if he's still around. Dick Williams, Hall of Fame manager. Uh, his, Padre, his Padres would go into the to the World Series in ninety four in eighty four, although they would lose to the Tigers. Bud Anderson, don't know much about Bud Anderson. Richie Zisk is one of those other players who was around for a long time uh, with a number of different clubs and ended up on a couple in a couple odd sets uh, that I have. He was one of the guys on the uh, Pepsi discs. And other things, Richie Zisk just seemed to show up on a lot of those things. So he must have been done doing pretty good. Jesse Roscoe, the closer for the Mets in 86. Here's your Gary Carter card. Mike Richard, I don't know much about Mike Richard. Terry Crowley, I remember Terry Crowley is a great uh, utility player. You can see here he's DH and first base. Kevin Sochet, 
was, it's, that's how you pronounce it, it's like Saucier, but Saucier. He was a Philly on the 80 World Series team for the Phillies. So Wayne Krenchik, Krenchik, don't know anything about Wayne Krenchik, Pete Vukovic, like I said, he was one of those three brothers, George, they weren't brothers, but they had the same name, George, John, and Pete. And all Vukovic was the last name, but not one of them were related to the other. It just, it seems so odd to me that have a, a, a not common name called Vukovic and no, they weren't, they weren't related at all, you know? Kenny Landra was around for a long time for the Dodgers. Lee May, quality DH in first baseman. One of those guys who, like Don Baylor, was just always there. Lee May to me, super vet from 65. Uh, Guy Salazar, Salars, no idea. Ron Davis is a longtime pitcher for a number of clubs. Jim Rice, Bob Stanley, two longtime uh, Red Sox papers right there. Bob Nepper, I remember, is a longtime great pitcher. Ozzie Virgil shared the catching duties with Bo Diaz at that time. Dave Dravecki, Dave Dravecki, if you remember, Dave Dravecki was the guy who got cancer in his arm and shoulder, his upper arm and shoulder and whatnot. He um, made a comeback at one time, but like, Two starts after he came back, he blew out his arm again, and he was done. And now he, he's his whole his whole his left arm <clears throat> because I remember it was the throwing arm. His whole left arm is gone from the shoulder bone. So uh, sad story, but he's you know he's quite happy, I think, to this day still with what God has dealt him. He, he's quite accepting and he's making a difference on the lecture lec the le the lecture circuit circuit. Anyway, Mike Ezer, a longtime pirate. Now, like I said before, the All-Star cards, Tops did a um, card of each of the starters in the All-Star game the previous year in this set. This was where the card number 400 came in. So you, you typically didn't have a star player on card number 400 because they put these All-Star cards to span that gap. So your American League starters, Rod Carew at first, Bobby Rich at second, George Brett at third and Robin Yount at short. Your outfield was Reggie Jackson, Ricky Henderson, and Freddie Lynn. Your catcher was Carlton Fisk. And your pitching staff featured Pete Vukovic, Larry Gura, and Dan Quisenberry as your closer. The National League All-Stars. A lot of Phillies. Love to see it because uh, Phillies were still one of the better teams in baseball at this time. Uh, Pete Rose at first, Manny Trio at second. And Mike Schmidt at third. I'd love to see that. Uh, we'll give Davey Concepcion a shot at, at shortstop. He was awesome. Your outfield, Dale Murphy. Check out the Expos here, guys. Andre Dawson, Tim Raines, Gary Carter, and Steve Rogers all made the all-star team that year. And Steve Carlton was another pitcher along with Bruce Suter. Quite the thing. This is back when the National League was winning all the time now. It's like, I think, the American League... It's been like, it's like, I don't know, they're winning like 95% of the All-Star games in recent years. But they used to be the National League winning it all. Now it's the American League. Rudy May, a long-time pitcher for a number of clubs. Marvis Foley, no idea. Phil Necro, Hall of Famer, super vet. Phil Necro is another one of those guys who looked old the day he was born. <laughs> like Charlie Huff down here. Buddy Bell and Charlie Huff on the Rangers team checklist. Matt Keough, long-time pitcher for the McClues. And... Julio Cruz, a lot of different guys named Cruz. Uh, I can never remember. It was Hector Cruz was one time, but Julio Cruz, long time utility outfielder. Bob Forsh, loved Bob Forsh on the um, Cardinals. He's one of those guys who was just a um, long, dependable starter. Every day he'd take the ball. He might not win, but he was there. Uh, had a long, lengthy, quality career. Uh, Joe Ferguson. Back, great backup catcher for a number of times. Also got the outfield occasionally. Don't know anything about Tom Houseman. Greg Pryor, I barely remember. Steve Crawford, same. Al Oliver, like I said, Al Oliver. He was on the Phillies later on. He was on the Phillies in 84. He was with the Expos. Mostly he was the Pirate early in his career, and he is dang near 3,000 hits. He was just under, and that's the only thing keeping him out of the Hall of Fame. He deserves to be in the Hall of Fame as far as I'm concerned. Al Oliver, great batter, great hitter. Uh, George Capazello, no idea. Tom Lawless, I do remember briefly. Jerry Augustine, no clue. Pedro Guerrero, Pedro Guerrero 
won an MVP in uh, 86 or 87, I do believe. There's your Earl Weaver Hall of Fame manager, Roy Lee Jackson. Just remember the name, Roy Lee Jackson. It's a great name there, great, great baseball name. Champ Summers, anybody named Champ's got a great name there too. Eddie Whitson, I remember Eddie Whitson and the Padres. There's this great um, video of, um, there's a huge fight between the Padres and I want to say the Mets, but don't quote me on if it was the Mets was the other team. I think it was, but the Padres and some other team got into a nasty fight. It was going, it went on forever. And every time it died down, the next batter would come up and somebody got hit right away again. I mean, it was just brutal. They went into the stands. I mean, it was a nasty, nasty fight. And you can see it. Eddie Whitson's right in the middle of it as a, as a Padre at that time. And uh, he must have got thrown out of the game because he's, he's down in the dugout with his shirt off. And I'll tell you, Eddie, Eddie Whitson, he looks, he looks like some guy who just fell off the back of a, a farm and picked up a baseball glove. But, boy, the guy was ripped. You know, he has shirt off. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, look at this guy, Eddie Whitson. Kirk Gibson, all know Kirk in his Dodger days, but he was also World Series winner with the Tigers in 84. Great guy. Uh, suffered from Parkinson's now, as last I saw. Not a Lou Gehrig's disease or nothing, but he's really slowing down because of Parkinson's. Gary Gaetti, long time and forever twin. Porfio Altamarino. Uh, I don't know. He's, he was a Philly this year. I don't even remember him playing for the Phillies. Dale Barra is Yogi's kid. Dennis Lamp. I remember Dennis Lamp, long time pitcher. Tony Aramis, like I said, Tony Aramis had some pop with the A's. Uh, he was actually among the top 10 home run hitters in the 80s, believe it or not, Tony Aramis. Bill Campbell, I remember him as a quality long-term pitcher. Rick Sweet, backup catcher for a number of teams. Dave LaPointe, I thought Dave had a brother, but don't quote me on that. Rafael Ramirez, don't know. Ron Guidry, it's 83 and he's still kicking it for the Yankees, Ron Guidry. Um, never want to study. Where was he from? Because he had the thickest Spanish accent. If you listen to him talk, he was born in Louisiana. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just a Bayou accent. You, your uh, Astros leaders, Ray Knight and Joe Necro, team card there. Brian Downing, I remember, a longtime player for a number of different teams. Don Hood, no idea who Don Hood is. Wally Backman. This is not, must might be another one of those cards that. This might be Wally Backman's. I don't know if this is his rookie card or not. Another one of those players you don't think about on the Mets, you think about on the Pirates or other teams, Wally Backman, you know. Mike Flanagan, longtime Orioles pitcher. Reed Nichols. Bryn Smith. I was I always I'll, I'll be honest with you. Until just recently I didn't know his name was Bryn. I always thought it was Brian Smith, but it's Bryn Smith. Uh people in Morati are all probably kicking me for saying that, but I, I honestly did think it was Brian. Daryl Evans, long-time player. He deserves a super vet card. Daryl Evans hit dang near 500 home runs. And look how long he'd been around. He hit dang near 500 home runs. He's only got 232 now. But he got into the four. He got into the mid-fours before he retired. Oh, we get him. Daryl Evans and Dwight Evans, the D.E. boy, the D. Evans boys. Eddie Milner, I remember Eddie. And then here's your Hall of Famer, Ted Simmons, who finally got the Hall of Fame. I'm thrilled about that. So. All right, that's all I'm going to show you today. We'll do more again tomorrow on part five. Like I said, one a day for a while while I'm on vacay. Hope you enjoy. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.